Rebecca Lynn, <laughs> I knew from the first Starbucks coffee day together that you were like no one I had ever met. The love of Jesus that flows out of you for others and for me is humbling, beautiful, and inspiring all at once. <laughs> from that very first smile you gave me across the way at SG, <laughs> kindness has radiated in you from the inside out. It is in those moments where we look at each other and say, thank goodness Jesus gave me you, baby. I can remember the first few times that um, you came home talking about Rebecca and Aaron and I were like, who is Ty, you know? All of a sudden he's like got this giddy talk, like this laugh about him. And usually Ty is just like cool as a cucumber about everything, you know, like how school, he's like, it's good. And like how's basketball, it's good. And then he starts talking about Rebecca and he's got all these things to say. And like we instantly knew it was something special. And then when she started coming around, the way you guys would just sit around and talk and laugh and I could just see the joy that you both brought to each other. And so I know that you guys are gonna have just this incredible marriage. And it's super cool that we all got to be here for it. While some couples might have fought against the loss of their wedding plans, I have witnessed Ty and Rebecca change their plans with surrender and thankfulness in their hearts. Moving to plan B for them is a testimony to both the body of Christ and the world that what matters most is love. And it's my conviction that today is not God's plan B, but God's plan A. This is what He wanted for you, you guys to remember through all your years that it's worth it to sacrifice for love. I love you, Rebecca Lynn, and I'm so excited for this journey of life with you. I promise to wake up each day, give you a good morning kiss, and choose to love and honor you for the rest of our lives. I love you, and I am so honored to be your forever girl. <laughs> <laughs>